Vincenzo, James, Jenna, Italian pronunciation, Vin, modifier letter vertical line T, Latin small letter Esh, Latin small letter opening so, modifier letter vertical line D, Latin small letter S, Latin small letter opening Na, January 18, 1888, November 8, 1931 was an Italian born mobster in Chicago. He headed the Jenna crime family with his brothers. Jenna and his brothers waged war against the Northside gang before half of the brothers were killed and Jenna fled. Early life Vincenzo Jenna was born on Marsala, Sicily. His parents, Antonio Jenna Sr. and Maria had six other sons, Antonio, the gentleman, Angelo, Bloody Angelo, Mike, the devil, Salvatore, Sam, Pietro, Peter, and Nicola Jenna, who stayed in Sicily, and two sisters, Rosa Laudicina and Caterina Mariana. He and his brothers entered the U.S. through New York around 1910. Prohibition and Lopanion, the Jenna brothers became a close-knit Marsala-based mafia and bootlegging gang. When Prohibition became a federal law in 1919, the Jennas obtained a federal license to legally manufacture industrial alcohol, in which they sold illegally. Tony and his brothers operated from Chicago's Little Italy, which was located west of the Chicago Loop. During Prohibition, Jenna owned an illegal bar near Taylor and Halstead. They started selling their extra alcohol at cut rate prices outside of their territory on the north side. This caused a problem with the north side gang leader Charles Dino Banion who in turn, went to Southside gang boss Giovanni, Johnny the Fox, Torrio and Uni 1 Siciliana boss Mike Merlo to get the Jennas to back down. Torrio refused, so Obanion started hijacking alcohol shipments belonging to the Jenna brothers. On November 3, 1924, Dino Banion inadvertently signed his own death warrant during an argumentative phone call to arch-rival Angelo Jenna. Their disagreement originated at the ship, the gambling casino that the Northside gang boss owned along with the Torrio Syndicate. On this day, Obanion sat in with Al Capone, Frank Nitti, Frank Rio, and others to tally the week's profits. It was mentioned that Angelo Jenna had dropped a large amount of cash, plus a sizable marker. Capone recommended that they cancel the marker as a professional courtesy. Obanion, instead, got Jenna on the telephone and demanded that he pay his debt within a week. With this personal insult, Angelo Jenna and his family could no longer be restrained. Until then, Merlo and the Uni-1 had refused to sanction a hit on Obanion. However, Merlo had terminal cancer and died on November 8, 1924. With Merlo gone, the Jennas and South Siders were free to move on Obanion. Torrio ordered the brothers to kill Obanion. The brothers carried out the hit on November 10, 1924. Francesco Iol and two Jenna hit men, Giovanni Scalisi and Alberto Anselmi, entered Obanion's flower shop, Schofield, and when Yale shook Obanion's hand, Scalisi and Anselmi shot two bullets into his chest and two in his neck. And while Obanion was lying face down on the floor, one of the men shot a final bullet in the back of his head. Gang war after the Obanion murder, Chicago erupted into a full-scale war. The North Siders, now led by Adlard Kionin, attempted to kill Torrio outside his home, causing him to flee to Italy, leaving his second-in-command, Alphonse Scarface Capone, as head of the outfit. Then, the North Siders took aim at the Jennas. On May 26, 1925, Moran, Vincent, the schemer, Druxy, and Earl Jaime Weiss wounded Tony's brother Angelo in a high-speed chase, causing him to die shortly after. Then on June 13, 1925, Mike Jenna is killed by police after a shootout with North Siders. On July 8, 1925, Tony Jenna was ambushed and killed by a Jenna turncoat. James and his remaining two brothers fled Chicago. Returned to Italy after three of his brother's deaths, Jenna fled to Italy via Paris with Torrio. After arriving in Italy, 
Jenna had spent much of his money he made from the family's alcohol business at nightclubs and from living in Via Monte Grappa. He made a plan to steal the Madonna di Trapani church jewels in Sicily. In the first week of January 1926, Jenna was arrested in Rome, Italy, for the theft of the Madonna di Trapani church jewels. He was sentenced to a couple of years of hard labor in the jail at Favignana and was released between 1928 and 1929. Return to Chicago Jenna then decided to return to Chicago and get back into business as a gangster. On May 31, 1930, Jenna was driving in a car with four old Jenna gang members when a large sedan pulled up alongside of them and a volley of shotgun and pistol shots into the car. Philip Naltho was killed and two others were wounded. Jenna gave up on muscling in on the old Jenna territory and fled to Calumet City. Death and Aftermath On November 8, 1931, Vincenzo Jenna died of heart disease. His remaining two Chicago brothers also died of natural causes. Pietro died on May 13, 1948, at Columbus Hospital, and on December 20, 1951, Salvatore Jenna died of a heart attack in his home on 865 Blue Island Avenue. See also Italians in Chicago. References